very special presentation for you this day. Uh, the Queen's Club Horns, the finest shack in Coop and all of Europe, has brought one of uh, Shakespeare's most uh, comic plays, A Midsummer Night's Dream, here, here to this village. Now, of course, they punched it up a bit, the music and comedy. Also, they have invited several of our uh, of our local luminaries, uh, the Lord Mayor and his daughter, uh, several of the uh, members of the court, including uh, some of the ladies waiting, also emissaries from Sweden, the Duchess of Milan, and from Scotland are here to round up the cast. But my friends, my lords and ladies, without further ado, a Midsummer Night's Musical! magical night. But it seems that Master Shakespeare, he beat us to it. But that's all right. His story's quite good. If we just use a little something extra. <laughs> so, without further ado, we present this tale told by William Shakespeare with fabulous new embellishments by yours truly. Thank <laughs> you. 
Prince Beauty and Santa. We have one girl, two guys, and an ancient Athenian law which says the girl has to marry who her parents pick or eh, die. Let's add in oh, a lovesick damsel, a group of amateur actors, <laughs> and a wood, wood, well, what more do you want for a Midsummer Night's Entertainment, please? Tomorrow is wedding day betwixt my Hermia and me. Upon that day, either prepare to die for disobeying your father's will, or to wed Demetrius, who loves you still. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Till I torment thee for this injury. Oh, gentle Puck, come hither. <laughs> I am that merry wanderer of the night who jests to King Oberon and makes him smile. Oh, I have a task for thee, oh, Mr. Mecca Puck. Fairies, attend and listen to this discourse. Do you remember when Cupid, the god of love, did loose his arrows upon the earth? They contain within them a powerful potion of love. I shall use this potion to trick the queen back to my bed. <laughs> I warm to this task, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> Find the flower where Cupid's boat fell. We'll cook up a little spell. It has the power from the juice in its leaves to make her dote on whoever she sees. One drop, like it's Cupid's arrow. One Drop, and she'll fall in love, she'll fall in love with anyone at all, be it a man or a wild animal, she'll get off that you made to me, when I use this sorcery, she'll pay me back for causing this fight, but she'll see things in a different light, one drop, like you could one and she'll fall in love, she'll fall in love with anyone at all, be it a man or a white I'll watch you, Tanya, when she's asleep, and drop the liquor on 
love it in her eyes. <laughs> the next thing then she will be more two weeks apart. Whether it be lion, bear, or wolf, or bull, a meddling monkey or busy ape, she shall pursue it with the soul of love. And ere I take this charm from off her side, I'll make her wither up that main tree. <laughs> I'd scare the pants off every man who would dance And to the ladies I'd say, let's just be friends Between my awesome roar and all my clad like springs They'd say the lion there must be the Lion King I would take a special bow, I guarantee it If the crowd could see me growl No, 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 Nick, you know you must only fight oh, here oh, I said please. no Let me play the lover's moon. If 
they could see me shine up there as Mr. Boo. The men would get romantic and the ladies swoon. I'd be the lover's moon of everyone's dreams. With a smile so wide that I'd almost beam. Oh, I'd light up that stage. I'd be the main event. The crowd would raise a toast and say I'm heaven sent. What an actor, he's divine. They'd all repeat it if the crowd could see me shine. Francis blew the bellows, men. Now. Yeah, now you must take on his be the lady that Pyramus loves. <laughs> Let me not play the woman. I have a bed coming in. They could see me cry, but jewels, wig, and curls. They'd all believe a grieving as my tail unfurls. I'd be the saddest this beast they'd ever seen. Decked out in heels and draped in drag like a queen. The men would pine for me as soon as I appear. And when I finally die, they'll shed a manly tear. What a tragedy they'll sign. You couldn't beat it if the crowd could see me cry. I said no!
had to do all over Helena. <coughs> While meanwhile, deep within those self same woods, Huck has finally come upon the hidden bower of the sleeping queen, Titania. Hello. 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 And squirts the love juice into its intended target's <coughs> eyes. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> that not a miracle is too soon for you. Should come blundering into uh, your hidden tower. Area sits the newly dark-headed uh, but uh, ah. She takes one look at him and bazinga. Ow! Ow! Ba bump! Ba bump! Bump! <laughs> Instant chemically induced attraction. <laughs> Uh, let's face it, folks, this has got to be Shakespeare's kinkiest couple. <laughs> Titania and her bottom. <laughs> it hath no bottom to it. <laughs> <laughs> now, when Elberon realizes how badly Puck has, well, pucked up, <laughs> <laughs> the affairs of our four 
mortal lovers. He is justifiably furious! I am justifiably furious. <laughs> and he orders him, on pain of banishment, to send the four lovers out into a blinding storm where, oh, a wandering blindly, he can correct each one in turn, and then finally, finally, we'll get done with all of these romantic complications. <laughs> By morning's early light, I've got to keep these quarrelsome mortals from giving in a fight. I've only got to dawn to show him my death, or else I'll get another pronouncement and vanish from these woods. I've got two sets of lovers, each one is quite hatch. All I've got to do.
no, 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 <laughs> oh, but what dreadful doll is this? Eyes, do you see? Thy mantle good, stained with blood. Shadow. 
those have offended. Think but this, and all is mending, that you have but slumbered here while these visions did appear. And this weak and idle feet. Give us your hands so we know that our show didn't stop.